Well, Manangogwa earlier met with President Jacob Zuma before flying to Harare from Lanseria Airport north of Johannesburg. Here's how it all played out earlier today. A military base, a place where special clearance is required. But these throngs were not deterred. The man they were waiting for was not going to arrive soon. Yes, I Outside what they call their revolutionary house, the flags were hoisted. Similar excitement at the market where ordinary Zimbabweans make ends meet daily. And we are happy to maintain our peace. We are very peaceful people here and we are very happy. We never knew this moment was going to come across yes, yes, to Zimbabwe. Yes, we don't know what was, what was happening. They were feeding themselves there. They were with their family. We as Zimbabweans, as fellow Zimbabweans, we were suffering. Once I have received the letter of the nominee from the ruling party, which has taken place now, I forward the information to the chief secretary the Chief Secretary then puts in place the necessary arrangements for the swearing-in ceremony for the incoming president. This ceremony of swearing-in of the incoming president will take place on Friday this week. In less than 48 hours, Zimbabwe will have a new president. Before departing from South Africa, Nangagwa paid a courtesy visit to the head of state of the country that hosted him after he was axed. The excitement palpable. Well, this is what Zimbabweans have been waiting for, the return of Emerson Nangagwa. And that's where they say the hopes for the future of this country lie. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News, at the ZANU-PF headquarters in Harare.